Hey there, fellows. Today I've got me this lovely car, which is due for a bunch of experimentation. With it still being alive and all, let me run you through what I've got laid out on the hood. So we've got a strut, a steering box, rack, column, and a few joiners. In short, all of the components of a steering system. As for the idea, well, when turning the steering wheel in a conventional car, that makes the front wheels turn. Meanwhile, we're looking to make... So the point isn't to make a four-wheel steering system, but to have the rear end take the entire steering function upon itself. Now we'd like to kick this off by having a bit of fun, which is why we'll have a second steering wheel for the front passenger. As to have the car be controlled by two people at once. Now we have no clue how that's gonna make the car handle, so... Okay, let's go ahead and install a front suspension in the back. Set up some controls over here so that the passenger can steer the rear axle and the driver can handle the front end. That's where we start. Then we head out and have some fun, see what comes out of all of this. Let's get right to it. Fellas, I'd just like to say thank you for your support and for your kind words. I'm well now and everything's good. Now you yourselves take care and make sure to take all of the necessary precautions given the situation we're in. Now the latest addition to our online shop are these lovely face masks that'll help keep you safe from all sorts of nasty infections. Now at the moment it's August and the rainy autumn season is right around the corner, meaning it's time to buy some warm clothing. We're offering you guys these fantastic hoodies from our shop. And as of recently, we've also got these awesome vests for sale. On top of that, we've got a bunch of other stuff, and we're always adding something new to the product line. For example, not too long ago, we began to offer these nifty lighters and air fresheners. So go ahead and give our online shop a visit. Get yourself some G54 merch. And when using the code from the video description, you can buy some stuff at a good discount. Making a car steer with its rear wheels. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. We have got a beautiful setup going, fellas. Now this car has two steering wheels with each axle, now turning individually, as in they share absolutely no connection whatsoever now. We'll have two drivers. Now in the back we're running a McPherson strut suspension, same as up front. We decided we should keep things simple. What are we running back here, a strut? We did have to raise the towers due to them being very tall. We've got them bolted down. Then we've got a single beam with one link per wheel, and this should do it for us, I think. Oh yeah, plus we've got a steering rack back here, of course. That we lifted from some small car. We've got a steering rod going through the cabin, so there's nothing complicated here at all. And well, now we're ready to commence testing, which is something I'm very happy about. We'd better not flip it over. Then again, it wouldn't be the first time we're taking such risks. Okay, and already we're driving sideways. Okay, why don't you do the steering? For now, we're gonna treat it like a normal sort of front-wheel drive car. You know, just a regular car that steers with the front wheels. So things are happening exactly as they would on a normal car. Yeah, this is just a car. Something's rattling back there. Eh, doesn't matter. Come on, don't slow down. You can pull some figure eights if you want. We can do that with zero trouble. While I'm keeping my wheel still. The rear wheels are pointing straight, well, I mean... It helps that the mirror is adjusted in such a way that allows me to keep track of them. Flip around. Yeah, there is really nothing difficult in what we're doing right now. The car is just moving along. Now you keep your wheels straight. This is where the interesting stuff begins. 
<laughs> oh wow, why is it wobbling like that? <laughs> well, we are running some proper struts back there. Can you slow down a bit? So that we don't slam into anything. Well, it does turn. It's also able to do figure eights, no problem. The body lean is a bit extreme, though. Holy cow. Yeah, this just takes some getting used to. That's it? You can speed up a bit. I'm fighting the urge to steer. Oh, that you definitely shouldn't do. That could send us flying towards a bush or something. Okay, looks like the wheel is rubbing on the fender. That's nice. Eh, nothing to worry about. <laughs> the turning is actually very sharp. But the body roll is atrocious. You turn left, I turn right, correct? Why did you turn right? Turn left. Try the other way around. The other way? Man, if we had 90 degrees of steering angle, that would have made parking very convenient. Now let's try... which way were you steering? Wait, is that...? Were you steering left? Which way should I turn? Left, turn left. So that way we are basically... doing a U-turn in one spot, huh? Now steer right. There you go, come on. That worked great. So now we are spinning in place pretty much. This is so much fun. Holy cow. I like it. Let's try driving straight now. Let's turn left at about the same rate. Wow, the rear steer system works. Straight now? It works wonders. Who knew? Here we go. Nice. The system works. We just need to synchronize our movements and we're good. Why do you place them so close? We've got a small turning radius. Oh, I get it. Just a bit of input. Turn in. Which way do I turn? Now straight, now we turn in. See that? Who said we wouldn't be able to do this? <laughs> and there you go. I'm gonna hold mine straight. Sure thing. Okay, the steering angle is a bit lacking. We're definitely gonna hit that cone. However, this way we'll navigate the entire course. Piece of cake. We won't be driving in reverse. Given the mirrors are completely out of whack. Keep it steady. Yeah. What's the distance between the cones? 420. 420? 420. Can a car even make it through? No. What about a motorcycle? Motorcycle, yes, car, no. 
He says a car won't make it through. We'll see about that. Here we go. I've got mine turned all the way. Lovely. <laughs> Who said that? The distance between the cones is 4 meters 20 centimeters. And we are easily able to do slalom without hitting a single cone. Can you even imagine? Awesome. That's what a rear steer system does for you. It is a very useful feature indeed. One that gives your car quite a bit of extra maneuverability. And there you have it. We'll make it. Now we go straight. What? Wait, why am I steering? That's your job. Lovely. Now you turn right while I turn left. The other way. Let's hold it for a bit longer. Change direction. The other way. Yeah, you were a bit late. The other way. Change direction. They've come up with another challenge for us. Wait, which way am I supposed to be turning the wheel? You turn yours right? And if I do the same, we'll drive right in sideways. You think so? Of course. Well, let's give this a try then. Let's try parking this thing. Wait, I should have turned it the other way. Will we be able to parallel park? Stop. Stop. Well, we are getting somewhere. And now, without doing anything, we just slide right back out. There we go. Okay, let's flip around. Go straight. Stop the car. Now I need to... I turn left, you turn right. Oh yeah, right. So we found a parking space. Wait, let's take it a bit further. Now we'll hit the cone that way. Let's go straight from here. Are we gonna clear the cone? Stop. Oh man, almost. One of the axles has a bit more steering angle than the other. I guess we need to think of some new designation like... Sideways parallel parking something or another? Here's what's up, fellas. The car is happy to drive into this tight a space. And you've even got a ton of room to spare. We've made the car much more maneuverable. However, this sort of handling... It does take some getting used to. No way around that, really. Now, on your typical four-wheel steering system, the rear wheels turn slightly in order for... for the driver... I don't know, to not go insane? I mean, this really changes the way the car handles. Right, fellas. This was an awesome experiment. But don't take my word for it. Make it so your car has a lot of steering angle in the back. It's a super cool thing, I promise. You'll be able to park your car in some really tight spaces. And that's all I have for you. Watch us, subscribe, suggestions. Don't forget we got merch. Leave some comments. Give us a big thumbs up. All right. Catch you later.